So let me guess, every argument you have with a narcissistic person ends up being the same argument over and over. Why is that? The narcissistic person loves to employ a tactic called circular argument in order to deflect, divert, and avoid the topic that is at hand so that they can manipulate the situation to where they do not have to take any accountability. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and transform your life after being around narcissistic toxic people. Circular argument is when someone brings up the topic over and over and over again, the same topic over and over and over again. Have I said over and over again enough times? So you know how when you're in a, in a discussion with a narcissist, and things start to sort of lean toward them starting to gaslight you or it starts to escalate into some disagreement or some grievance that they have. Or when you confront them with something that needs to be talked about within the relationship or something that they're doing or something that's going on. And suddenly they bring up something from the past or they bring up the same phrase over and over. Things that deflect and divert the focus of the conversation back onto you being the problem or you having an issue, same topic every time by the time you're done with an argument, that's a circular argument, that's a circular conversation and a narcissist is doing this simply to avoid the thing that you're trying to talk to them about. They're doing this to create confusion and to bring focus back onto something else, kind of derailing a conversation, right? In order to not have to talk about something and not have to take accountability. And it can be super confusing because you may feel like an argument has been resolved or an issue has been resolved between you and them, which is kind of a rare thing, right? Like, But it may be something so far in the past that you've forgotten about it and they will bring it back up as a thing to throw into every argument, twist things around to either you being the bad guy, them being the victim, or something that's non-resolvable between two people, they'll bring that back in so that like, like an absolute thing that you cannot agree on, they'll bring that in to divert and deflect again so they don't have to take accountability for the issue at hand. So remember, when a narcissist is doing this or anyone is doing this to you, this is not a two-way conversation. Basically, once this circular argument has started, conversation's over. You are now in the manipulation cycle. You're now dealing with someone who is using a manipulation tactic instead of conversing and relating to you. This is meant to throw you off center. This is meant to confuse you. This is meant to make you forget what you were talking about. I mean, another sign that you're dealing with someone who does a lot of circular argument or circular conversation is that you find yourself explaining basic communication to another adult. Have you had that happen? You know, in fact, if you've had any of these things happen and if you have dealt with circular arguments, circular communication, let me know in the comments. Let me know how it's affected you and how we can further discuss this and what questions you might have or what, what has come up for you so that we can keep talking. The problem is it loops you in. It draws you in because it's usually something that is unresolvable. Like I said, it's something usually that is like a major source of conflict between you and that person. And it's usually something you find yourself defending yourself against. You find yourself having to put up defenses, over explain yourself, explain your point, explain your version, your point of view, you know what I mean? Over and over and over. And it's almost this compulsive need to have that circular issue be resolved. It can make you forget the thing you were upset about in the first place, or more likely hold on to that thing that you were upset about in the first place with absolute rage and frustration because this person will not talk about it. And then at the same time, having to defend yourself against some off topic, nonsensical, not important issue from the past. When people are arguing this way, there's never resolution, you guys. There's never a way for it to resolve. It's not meant to resolve. This is meant to continue the frustration, the confusion, and the derailment of anything real. This topic switch over and over again, it's a mind game. Oftentimes after they do the circular argument, they'll generally just shut down. They'll either play the victim or give you the silent treatment or keep going on and on and on, like almost like a fade out as they walk away, continuing to talk about the same issue. They're trying to basically steamroller you, to bombard you with their point of view about something 
that they are pretending is the most important thing in the world. There is never a point in arguing, debating, or even continuing a conversation when someone has entered into this circular argument. Have I said that before? Well, let me repeat myself. Stop arguing with the circular argument. It's manipulation. It's not worth your time. Gray rocket, step away from it, okay? Recognize what it is when someone is doing this. Take a deep breath, exhale. Tell yourself on the inside, this is not worth my time. This is not worth my energy. And focus on staying calm, staying detached from what's going on and coming out of their mouth so that you're not defending yourself and you're not arguing any further into the circular argument. Let them wind themselves down and walk away and then get the heck away from them, okay? This is not worth the debate. It's not worth your time and it's not worth your focus. You guys, if you need anything, group coaching, coaching or peer support, check out the information in the description of every video 